In July of 1764, the Wampum Belt Treaties were made to document the nation-to-nation -nation agreement set out at the Niagara Congress. Twenty-four Indigenous nations, including our Three Fires Confederacy, met with British Crown officials to mend relations and reaffirm ideals of fair and voluntary land dealings laid out in the Royal Proclamation of 1763 by King George III. Previously, British tactics had included distributing smallpox-contaminated blankets to First Nations warriors in order to weaken them. The annual Presence Belt, also known as the Niagara Treaty Belt, shows 24 figures holding hands. To the left, a rock, North America, and to the right, a ship, the British. The gifts were to be given annually, and if the promise was broken, the ship could be separated. Later, to fulfill treaty obligations, First Nations Chief Tecumseh, his close lieutenant Chief Nawash, and warriors from the Three Fires Confederacy, in allegiance with the British, fought in the War of 1812. Soon after, Chief Nawash and Ottawa led some Badawatami north to settle in this Georgian Bay area. First Nations people became segregated into smaller lands designated by the government called reservations. In 1836, naming this area the Nawash Village Indian Reserve. Around this time, the Niagara Treaty's annual gift-giving ceremonies began to be neglected. In 1857, the Nawash Village Reserve was surrendered. Some First Nations moved to Saugeen Ojibwe Nation on Lake Huron, some to Neashinaming, Cape Croker, and some tried to remain and keep their lands. These First Nation people were refused the purchase of land which they had already been given, cleared, and farmed.